Okay, so now I've added the link to my site structure. Oops, excuse me. Uh, it's time I save this file, so I'm going to hit save and go to the directory where I'm storing this project. In my case, it's uh, MAMP. MAMP. Uh, in your case, you may have a directory called you know, Graph 361 Assignment 1. That would work. But everything, all your resources, as we discussed earlier, are in the one uh, directory or subdirectories. And this is going to be called index.html. Index is the standard name for any home page. And you go to any web server in the world and load an index.html page to it, and it, it will, in most cases, become the home page of that site. So we don't want to play with that understanding of the web servers. They don't like to be jarred around. So we'll call all of our home pages index.html. So now I have code. I have some basic structure. I haven't set up for my colored code before. And if you remember from our class on Thursday, we discussed the inline tag span. So I'm just going to add that. And I have to close it. So at the end there, and it closes itself automatically for you. So do you notice that as I'm typing tags? I'll show it to you again when I go after web publishing. Dream Dreamweaver will do two things for me. One, it'll start guessing what tag I want to use. And two, it knows what tag I have open and it'll close the tag it's closest to once you get to to show you try to work more slowly so I've got the bracket begun and I hit in the type in the uh, slash sign and it fills in all the rest for me so that's very handy saves you a lot of work uh, in the end you just have to get used to it happening um, so there I have my links indicated my inline spans that are going to enable me to style uh, these two words or phrases uh, separately from the rest of the paragraph. But you notice that so far all it's showing are the links because I haven't done any styling yet and the spans won't show anything until I style them. There's one other thing I want to do uh, structurally at this point before I close the video. Well, there's two more things I want to do. I also want to start the CSS file. But one more thing structurally, and I'm just going to go back to the layout. And it, it may be difficult to tell from uh, the layout I'm showing you here, it, it's only 1,024 pixels across. We all worked at that same size, I believe. There it is at 100%. But the content area here is, is, um, is centered in the space. So I need to add some structure to my site, to my site code, that will allow me in CSS to, to center this material you see here. I'm just going to save it and let's let's have a look at it in a browser. If I uh, preview in, I like previewing in Chrome, and I look at it in Chrome, you can see just using the default settings of my browser. There's no styling going on here. My browser has some default styling, and we're seeing it in action here. So, and, and heading one looks like this. It's in Times New Roman. Heading, you know, paragraph text looks like this. The links are underlined in blue. If I visit the link, it's in in a purple color, right? So this is the default style sheet that comes with your browser. Every browser has a default style sheet. You notice it's not quite touching the left-hand side. It, this Chrome browser has a 10-pixel uh, left and right margin, so you don't touch the edge of the viewport. You notice I'm not right at the top of the page. I don't know where that's 40 pixels or 20. But every you know the browser style sheet says, "Hey, start the page a little bit down from the top." So that's what my page looks like by default. And I could write instructions, CSS instructions, that say, okay, every heading one tag is centered on the page. Every paragraph tag is centered on the page. But then I have to write a rule for every element that I want to center. And I want to center every element on my page. So the simpler way to do it is to wrap my entire page or content that I want centered in, in a tag. All right? And that tag, when we talked about this earlier, is the div tag. Div for division. And I need to close my div tag. And you see again, Dreamweaver knows that my open tag is a div tag and closes it for me. 
once I begin typing that. So once a, I'm saving my work right now. Uh, once again, there's no change in my display except when I click inside, I now have this act line that I can activate by running my cursor across it and it turns from dotted to red uh, solid line that indicates that I now have a block of content contained inside a div, div or a division. I often like to think of these as baskets. And so the division gives me something to a handle that allows me to move around a, a, a group of content that's related one to the other. And in, in the divs in CSS are an important way of formatting and creating interesting layouts. We have to be careful not to give, get divitis and measles our, our, our site with divs. But if, if you stick to uh, the philosophy of applying <coughs> meaning to things, to your tags and using them meaningfully, then you, you, don't, you never fall into that trap. So we have a div here. I haven't identified it in any way uh, because I haven't done any CSS work. And we'll worry about that once we start a CSS work. So we need to start a CSS work. And the, what we have to do first is open, create a blank CSS page. We do that by going to new. Dreamweaver offers us an opportunity to create a CSS page. You can see it. I don't know, six or seven down on the list. We go create, and it creates a blank CSS document. It tells us what the character set is. That's not absolutely necessary, but it tells us what it is. And I'm going to save it. And I need to save it in my root directory. I root directory. I have a um, CSS subdirectory. I'm going to open it. There's my background image, and now I'm going to give it a name. And here I am with more boring names. I'm calling it style.css. Unlike uh, index.html, there's no specific rule about what you name your CSS style. But I'm going for old and boring. There we go, save. So now if I were to look in my directory, I have my home page. I have my background image, I have my style sheet, and these are my notes to myself. That's all I should have here right now. And with that, I'm going to close this video and uh, get it uploaded to YouTube. And when I return, we will begin setting styles. Talk to you then.